This is the plaintiff, Terrence Rush. He says he's in the vending machine business, and the defendant has three of his machines and refuses to return them. The defendant has no right to keep the machines. He knows the judge will side with him today and is suing him for their value, which is $4,000. This is the defendant, Gregory Brent. He says he and the plaintiff were supposed to split the income from the machines. And when the plaintiff came to collect the money from him, he didn't give him his portion. His store is located across the street from a school. He generates a lot of money, and he wants his split. He's accused of playing games. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $600, the loss of income he's owed. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff rents out vending machines. The defendant got three of them, won't return them. But the defendant says they were supposed to split the income from the machines, and the plaintiff stiffed him. It's the case of sure plays a mean gum ball. Thank you, Doug. You're welcome. All right, TNT Vending, represented by Mr. Rush, is suing K&J Wireless and GM Food Mart, represented by Mr. Brent. Brent. For $4,000, the value of some machines that you say you had a contract with him for to leave in there that belonged to you, and you don't see him anymore. And you have a counter, and plus loss of income. You have a counterclaim against him for loss of income from those same machines. Okay, first let's discuss what the agreement was between you two. You have a series of vending machines. What kind of machines are they that are in his place? There is a tabletop arcade video game, and there is a- Which uh, game? Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Did that make a comeback? And what else? And there is also a uh, sucker machine. A what? It's called a sucker, like a lollipop. It's a sucker machine. How does a machine work? You put a quarter in the machine, and the sucker rotates around and falls down. Oh, so, OK. So a lollipop machine. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's not a lot of challenge in that one. Yeah. <laughs> and what else? And there was also to a gumball machine. OK. Well, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I know how those work. All right, so those are the three machines that you have there. That's correct. And then you entered into a contract with him. Is the contract in writing? Yes, it is. May I see it? And how long has the contract been in effect? For two years. All right, and the contract says that he lets you put your machines there, and the two of you have a split as to the proceeds from the machine, right? That's correct. Okay, so on the gumball and the, the lollipop machine, he gets 30%, you get 70. That's correct. And on the game machine, he gets 50, you get 50. That's correct. Okay, it, it works well until when? When do things start going poorly? Um, things started going down as of uh, December of 2017. Oh, right away. So it didn't correct. work very well at all. All right, um, in December, what happens? So the profits started going down okay. for the last couple of months, and I noticed in December... Well, going down from what? It had only been around for two months. I do have receipts showing that when I give him a copy of it, that I get a copy of what comes out the machine also, too. So how does it work? You physically go there, and then the quarters are counted in front of both parties? That's correct. OK. You, would you go in weekly? I go in, um, for the first time, I go in usually in a month. So Right. So in October, at the end of October, you got a reading. And That's then correct. the end of November, it was less, and the end of December, it was less? That's correct. All right, so why is that a problem with him? He has every incentive, as you do, to make it more quarters. That, that, that's correct, Your Honor, but the business was not open every day in certain hours. Well, where does your evening. contract say how long he has to ha be open? Well, it doesn't state how long that's he has to be correct. open. That's correct. You don't control when he opens and closes. I understand that, Your Honor, but what I'm saying is that it was not open to the public. Okay. Yeah, I understand exactly what down. you're saying. Yes, I do understand exactly what you're saying. So if you want him to be open 40 hours a week, you need to put that in your contract. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he opens and closes whenever the heck he wants to. It's okay. his business. Okay. But in any event, you notice that the profits are down. How much are they down? How much were you getting a month? On the, on the first one, as I stayed here, yeah. when I have to the... Um, yeah, let me see those. Okay. There you go. Thank you, sir. Okay, so the first time you check it at the end of October... It's $62 that you give him. No, that's, that was the total amount that came out of the video game. Oh, the total amount is 62. So you gave him 31. And the total amount at the end of November for the tabletop video game was 47, so you gave him 23. Then the total amount for the video game in December was 33, you gave him 16 bucks. And the gumball machine was six bucks. 
Okay, they're not doing that well. So go on. So I stop by or um, see if someone's there, no answer, um, no one's at the business, have a board in front of it. Do you ever say, I want to take my machines out because you're not open enough? That's correct. I did finally. When do you say that? Some time go by in August. Are you telling me that for eight months you weren't able to get in there? That's correct. Because it's always closed for those eight months? That's correct. Have you been closed for eight months? No. Okay. Have you been closed at all for any reason? Sometimes in the morning I don't open because the school's not out. The traffic for everything is the high schoolers. So, I've, you know, after 2 o'clock, that's when we're mainly open. Right. Have you received any money from these machines since December of 2017? No, because I was in and out of the hospital. All right. Well, did your employees see him come and get money from the machines? Yes. Well, why didn't your employees say, let's count the money and everything because else? Because he said he wanted to go over it with me. So, generally speaking, do vending machines have fresh candy or stale candy? Fresh candy. Oh, you say so, huh? What do you think? No, stale candy. Stale candy? Yeah. Okay, who's the tiebreaker? Who's the tiebreaker? Uh, fresh. Really? Yeah. I would think everybody would just complain, huh? Stale. Yeah, I'm, I, everybody complains. I would assume you do that, going inside the courtroom. So, you have seen no money from it in all this time. Correct. Well, have you two talked at all? Yes. He okay, said he was, tell me about the conversation. He said he was sending someone to get the machines, and uh, when I talked to him, I said, that's fine, just send them with the money that you owe me. And he sent the person no money, I didn't give him the machines. Yeah. So where are these little things to prove how much you took out of the machines ever during a whole year? If it was one month, I'd say, well, he says there was nothing in there. Even if there's nothing in there, there should be one of these forms. When you say the place opens at 2, had it always opened at 2? Mostly, yes. Okay, so these, uh, in October, dis back then, was it opening at 2? Yeah, he was coming in the afternoon. Yeah, the so when or... did you go in the afternoon and, and not see it open? After 2, not at noon, after 2. And what evidence do you have that you were going there after 2 and that for 8 months that place was closed? I don't have any evidence to stating that now um, what? About his clothes, now what do we I do? do? I just want to give him the machines back. <laughs> well, that's him, what he wanted, but the guy came right. without money. Yeah. And you wouldn't give him the machine back because right. you were angry because the guy wasn't. I just wanted. To... At this point, what do you want? I just want my percentage, and that's it. Right. How am I going to figure that out? I don't know what was going on. Right. What is the testimony of your employees? I see nobody else is with. You. I know you're not an employee. How old are you? Eighteen. Uh, well, she could be an employee. Yeah, she was like. A... Was she an employee? Yeah. Get up here, girl. And then I got testimony from another employee. Come on up here. Up to me. Did he ever come in while you were there to get any money from any of those machines? Yes. Okay. And when he did, how come you didn't take half? He take the quarters out of the machines and he put it in an envelope and he go back to his car. He write down how much he made out of the machines, and he come in and he's supposed to give him half. But since he haven't been there, he haven't been given. Why doesn't money. he give you half? He don't give it to us. He only try to give it to him. We'll right, but him. wouldn't he give you a little piece of paper showing, look, this is how much I got, and, and give you anything? No, he showed me a piece of paper, and that's it. And what, do, would you, do you know what the figures on that piece of paper said? Um, the last time, I think it was $16. That you were supposed to get, or $8 you're supposed to get? $8. Okay, come on. Dude, you just want these machines out of there, right? They're just a nuisance, because... Yeah, I was just going by what they were saying every time he came. Like, the different amounts that they were saying. That okay, was well, what... Did, did you record... Did anybody record the different no, amounts that they were saying? No. Because I, you know, honestly... Well, where are they? Because I know that you record them, and it appears that you're telling them. So where's your uh, copies for Can all I... of 2018? There was none, Your Honor. This place was closed. You okay. couldn't get in there. Okay. She knows you, okay? <laughs> right? Have you ever met her before? No, I haven't. Okay. How many times have you seen him come in there and open up the machines? At least six times. Okay. And it you claim you never... Sense. Okay. I All right. Know. All right. And you have a counterclaim against him for $600, yeah. right? How'd you come up with the figure 600 That's what I want to know. When it got warm, it picked up. Because okay, you got good. More, Prove it. You got more Prove kids to me outside. When he sh somebody should be photographing what he's saying to you or something. Give me some evidence to support what you're saying. The last time that I have any evidence of how much the machines are, are making is December. Your cut in December is $37.74. Okay. okay. So you don't want to enforce the contract. You want his machines out. Yes. Okay. I am going to do the following. The only evidence in front of me... Let me see these machines. There's a gumball machine. 
He said he was trying to show you how much it's gone. <coughs> so you can see that that traffic increased. I just don't know how long it took for it to go. Do you have any evidence, as opposed to talking, that you want me to see? Any videos that you took of the place being closed that have are date stamped? Anything to support your position? No, no only okay, thing I so have. Okay, so I'm going to take the figure we do have, which is the figure we have in December of 2017. It's the only month that we have all three receipts for, and that's $37.74. I'm going to multiply that by 11, and if you want your machines back, give the man $415.14. That's how we're going to resolve this case because neither side wants to continue with the contract. So get them, you, you'll get your machines out of there and get them in Grand Central Station, wherever you think you're going to get the most traffic. All right, good luck, folks. You know, when you go into business with somebody, ledgers are critical that you write down every dollar that goes out and every dollar that comes in and every debt that's incurred. It is so important to keep accurate business records. You may not think it's important now. Three months down the line, it's make or break. And that will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.